this garden is fully irrigated using clay pot irrigation. The garden as you can see along here with the pawpaws growing in it and also right along and the chocos and kiwi fruit across the back are all watered using a form of clay pot irrigation called wet pots. The way wet pots work are there are unglazed terracotta pots buried in the soil and these are connected together using 4mm um, poly tube which you can see lying on the surface just here. This is one of the wet pots that I've just dug up out of this garden. As you can see it's sort of a sort of UFO shaped um, job. It's got quite a little bit of weight in it as it is full of water from the reservoir tank which we'll come to a little later. The pot is buried in the ground just like that and then is covered over with soil. Now you can see here that this pot has been in, in place for several months and um, you can see the soil around it is really very very nice and moist holding its shape really well but it's not wet I can't squeeze any any water out of it so it's a really good um, way of keeping it moist without it getting over overly um, wet with um, uh, keeping the soil wet it's keeping it moist so as I said they're connected together using these this four millimeter um, polytube and that polytube runs back along the bed where it adjoins to a 13 mil feeder tube which you can see just down here so it's just standard irrigation feeding this 13 mil feeder tube the feeder tube runs back along the garden and around the corner um, past the choker there is the um, water supply tank we're now, in, now at the other end of the garden and you can see the, the 13 mil feeder tube that's come through the garden and it's come up and it comes along here and around the corner and onto the veranda. On the veranda here, behind the palms and the bamboo here, we have a black plastic tank. Now this is a, a um, pickle barrel of about two, 220 litre capacity and the pickle barrel is my main reservoir. There is actually a second one of these in this system located at the side of the house um, approximately about 20 meters away and they're connected via that tubing. So the pickle barrel here um, is, is full of water and then the water flows out through the little tap at the bottom and down out into the garden. Over on the side here we have a, I'll turn the camera around, we have a gauge you can see there which is a very simple gravity fed gauge that tells me exactly how much water is in the system at any particular time and makes sure that it doesn't run dry. On top of the pickle barrel I've also put in a vent which you can see at the top there and the vent's just standard plumbing supplies you get from any hardware store and that's a insect proof vent to allow air in to stop a vacuum forming as the water flows out and also stops mosquitoes breeding in there. We have quite a lot of mosquitoes in the area. This is an alternate type of wet pot this is actually, um, they refer to as a, um, as a large wet pot. This one here has got the glazed stem. It's meant to be buried about yay deep in, in the soil so that only the point um, above the soil is the glazed part, which will not lose any water. But obviously the water will flow at the bottom. Here you can see the way the wet pots attach. Um, they're using just standard 4mm irrigation tubing. And, um, and at the end you have a little bleeder, which um, in this case is a little dripper, which allows me to um, unplug, um, unscrew that at any particular point and bleed the system, uh, which will bleed out any air or anything that might get in it if it runs empty of water. On average I'd probably try to bleed it once a month or once every two months just to make sure that it's running fine. Now as part from watering the garden, these tanks also water the plants on the veranda here. So you can see here and if I actually come down to this um, palm just in here you can see a little wet pot in the, in the, in the pot there and um, as you can see you know this palm here the little spathelium there and the coffee plant are really doing very very nicely the palms over here are also watered with the wet pods as is the bamboo which is really really going berserk we also have over on the side here um, wet pots in the in the um, olives here um, supporting buried inside the tire you can see the, the um, tubing coming through the back here 
and the wet pot is buried down, down deep in, in, in there, um, which provides lots of nice moisture. And as I was saying before, it doesn't actually keep the soil, the roots of the plant, in water. So they still feel well drained, but they just get lots of moisture. And you can see that this plant here has really gone berserk with the wet pots. And in fact has grown that much in the last, um, probably added about one third of its height in the last uh, probably about two months. So it really is quite a, an efficient method of watering. To give you an idea, I have this garden area watered with the wet pots um, and I use approximately 400 litres a fortnight or 200 litres a week to water this area, which is significantly less than the um, old drip irrigation, which you can still see here. I haven't actually pulled this up yet, but this is the old drip irrigation I was running, which was very, very efficient, but nowhere near as efficient as the wet pot system.